Welcome back to DBL. That was a clip from Project Blue Book. Alien visitors, flying saucers. I mean, did you really see those lights in the sky? Well, I sat down with Aidy and Jillian and Neil Demagna, that's a really hard name, to see if the truth is really out there. I believe it and so do they in today's Chatting with the Stars. Harding silencing Roswell again. Not if we're here. You two are the only ones who can stop it. The name of the game is control the narrative. They're real. We're talking with the stars of Project Blue Book, Aiden and Neil. Welcome to DBL, guys. Thank you very That's much. Grace. Judging by your accent, are you from Dallas? No way. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna test Aiden because I interviewed Aiden for the first I know, series. I remember. So I'm I'm gonna see if you remembered. I was kind of hoping that you would. I've been out looking for Stephanie's UFO. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. You see some? People just don't want to believe. People. How many people? Obviously, the show has been based on true events. Obviously, I believe in aliens. But what about the characters and what about their stories? How much of it is true? Well, they're all based on true events that have happened. You know, when we, we get to open up the blue books and really delve into it and, and tell stories that were based on actual facts. And that's the great part. If the government is covering up the existence of flying saucers, then you and I are in the best position to expose that truth. Neil, what do you mean when you say that acting in the show makes you look at the nice guy differently? You know, when we're little kids, little boys or little girls, we, we look at things with, you know, wonderment and what if and no judgment. Definitely. And obviously, um, Aiden's playing Alan Hynek, and he obviously was really into UFO research, and he didn't believe at the start. Like you said, he was very wary of it. And then after he consulted on Close Encounters, then he was a true believer. Yeah, well, I mean, the Close Encounters thing came, like, way down the road with him, you know, and he was skeptical and did think that the, you know, the issue could be solved pretty easily and, you know, in a short uh, matter of time. Aiden's leading the charge, and, and, you know, we're very fortunate to have him doing it. Yeah, it's pretty good at it. <laughs> we have a great uh, bunch of actors. No, no, we really do. I feel the same. Very lucky to go to work with this uh, great bunch of actors. And we've got some great new actors coming in, like Gerard oh, Haynes. He, he did awesome. And really great guests like Colm Fiore and Joe Beth Williams. That's right. Um, and, and many others. So we're uh, Joe Beth was great. really excited about that. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Joe Beth, who was in Poltergeist. So, you know, Poltergeist. Oh, that's scary. That is scary. Yeah. I believe in that too, you know. I believe yeah. in it all. I think I, I'm obsessed Well, next time you like interview us, we're going to have, let's have a Poltergeist conversation. That's right, exactly. Okay, I'll see if you remember. I'll see if you remember how about I'll that remember. When, this, when this next season. Yeah, I'm obsessed with anything a bit supernatural and spooky, honestly. I really believe in it all, so. <laughs> Good. Aiden, before we go, I've got to ask you a question. I'm not going to lie, I'm the biggest fan ever, so I've got to ask. With the Game of Thrones finale, was it a thumbs up or a thumbs down from you? I have to ask. When you say finale, do you mean the entire season or the episode? The series, the, the, you know, the, the, the finale final episode. season. The series. Oh yeah, the season. Yeah, I was, that was a thumbs up from me, yeah. Okay. You know, I know everyone's not going to be happy. I know it's kind of, it's impossible to finish that story off. How can oh, you wrap yeah. up a show of that magnitude and make everyone you? happy? They have yeah. to do it. Watch the season two premiere of Project Blue Book on History. Thanks so much for talking with me, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you.